Creating Subcircuits from Schematics with Tina Cloud. In Tina Cloud, you can simplify schematics and hide clutter by turning portions of the schematic into subcircuits. Tina Cloud automatically represents these subcircuits as a rectangular block on your schematic. You can convert any schematic diagram into a subcircuit called a macro in Tina simply by adding the terminals and saving the new circuit in the special asterisk.tsm format. Let's see how to create a macro in Tina Cloud. Load the half adder half underscore add dot tsc example from the Tina examples folder of Tina Cloud. To invoke the schematic editor, select schematic editor from the Tools menu, or double-click any empty spot on the workspace. The schematic editor appears. Delete the diagram and the text. Click the object you want to delete, then press the Delete key or click the red X button on the toolbar. Let's convert the half-adder example into a macro. Delete the old terminals and replace them by sub-circuit terminals called macro pins in Tina Cloud. To select the portion of the circuit, terminals, click the multiple selection button first, then the corner of the area you want to select. Hold down the left mouse button, then move the mouse and release the left mouse button at the opposite corner. Click the red X button on the toolbar. Release the multiple selection button. Click the macro pin on the special toolbar. The macro pin will be attached to the cursor and you can move it anywhere on the screen. You can rotate the pin using the rotate left or rotate right buttons. Connect the macro pin to the circuit. When you place the macro pins, their label is automatically set to pin 1, pin 2, etc. Double click the labels. Then, in the Property window, set the Label field as shown. Reposition some labels. Next, create and save the new macro. Press the Insert button, denoted by a green plus sign. Select Upload Macro. In the Diagram window, set the macro name, in this case, HA. Then click the Upload button. In a pop-up window, the following message appears. Macro uploaded. Click OK. Now, let's see how to insert a macro into a schematic and use it. Click the Insert button, denoted by a green plus sign, then select Insert Macro on the menu. Select the macro HA. Then press OK. The newly created macro will be attached to your cursor, and you can place it in the usual way. Let's modify the name and content of the macro. Create the modified macro under the name HA Circuit. Then insert it. macro has been already uploaded, but you may save this circuit if you wish. Let's save under the name Half Adder Modify. Let's check with an analysis the operation of the new macro we've created. Load the original half underscore add TSC 
into the schematic editor of Tina Cloud without the diagram and text in the way as previously shown. Let's make more room by using the zoom out command. Pan the circuit by holding down the left mouse button while moving the mouse. Insert the newly created HA circuit macro. Using copy and paste, add the generators and outputs of half underscore add dot TSC to the macro. To draw the wires, click the first connection point, then draw the wire by moving the mouse, and finally click the second connection point. Save the circuit under the name half underscore add modified. If you click the macro and press the three dots button, in the sub-CKT content line, you can see the schematic stored in the macro. Finally, let's check with the digital analysis the newly created macro. Run Analysis, Digital. You can easily check that the new macro provides the same result. For more tutorials, visit our website at www.tina.com slash English slash Tina slash video underscore tutorials. Download the demo version of Tina Design Suite and you will get an immediate 20% discount from the offline version of Tina, free license for your second computer, laptop, etc. One year free access to Tina Cloud the cloud-based, multi-language, installation-free online version of Tina, running in your browser anywhere in the world.